the much-loved 1980s comedy, which aired on BBC, still remains a favorite with viewers today after it ended in 1991. Christmas specials continued until 2003, and several fans tune in to re-watch them annually. David, 82, starred as Derek Del Boy Trotter alongside Nicholas Lindhurst as his brother, Rodney Trotter. Reflecting on the show's continued success, David told BBC Breakfast on Christmas Day that he never thought such a level of success would happen to me. The Only Fools and Horses Christmas special of 1996 saw Del Boy finally making his millions during an auction. The episode reeled in 24.3 million viewers and is still widely enjoyed. Joining BBC Breakfast on Christmas Day 2022, the legendary actor stated, It's been a journey. There is no way on planet Earth that you would have thought in any possibility that would happen to me. He continued, It's like Derek Trotter always used to say, This time next year we'll be millionaires. They're going to go somewhere and they're going to be something. But you would never, ever have thought that that could possibly happen from playing the King of Goose Land on television. You're lucky if you got another job. That was not the reason I started the journey of being an actor, it was to act, it wasn't fame or fortune. I wanted to succeed and to succeed means you want it to be better at your job and to be recognized for it. Yes. Of course, I did that, I think most actors do. But the idea to have a reputation for these millions of viewers or whatever. No, it was the journey that just happened. The show is still celebrated, with several recent documentaries marking the popularity of the comedy. A recent Channel 5 documentary, Only Fools and Horses, Secrets and Scandals, explored the secrets behind the storylines. Super fans and those involved in the show talked about the death of Leonard Pierce, who played Grandad in the show and died during the series. The documentary delved into the impact his death would have had on the show, and they described writer John Sullivan's reluctance to replace the actor. Editor Chris Wadsworth explained, It was a terrible occasion, you know, this was Leonard Pierce who had died, not just a character in a show. We were saying goodbye to a really nice gentleman and a great character. Comedy historian Gran McCann stated, Leonard Pierce had always had health problems, had suffered from hypertension. And later on, he also became reliant on alcohol as well, he just became all frail because of his health. As time went on he had someone helping him to come to work, it was a tough life for him in the final couple of years or so. Pierce suffered a fatal heart attack in 1984 at the age of 69. BBC Breakfast airs daily from 6am on BBC One.